hello everybody welcome to the final part of this project now when we know who has paid and for what they have paid so we can now display uh, the order details to the customers inside their accounts this is a customer who has ordered many things now when they click my orders we can show the order products uh, I mean the details of the orders and the progress but this whole thing that we have we are doing now for these products this is for I mean for shipping products or the products the physical products that you want to send someone using courier service or any I mean any courier service or a, any kind of service like that but if you if you want to uh, make it digital products so after they pay the payment you can simply uh, show them the download links inside their accounts or any course link or any downloading link or any ebook link you can just display in their accounts if they have paid if they have not paid then uh, you will ask them to pay so that's uh, now we can show the order details over here and also we have on you know payments over here payments details and the order folder folder here so we are receiving the orders in this order folder uh, orders folder we will just uh, add two more uh, I mean columns so we can just uh, add one order status and also one more thing will be something like uh, I mean product ID okay now we are doing these all things online you can see this is our online web server so we'll just change the structure of this will end one after the order date will it one more column to orders and it will be status status of the order it will be text and 100 will be the value of this just save it I just forgot this but just remember this now and this is the order status one more thing I was thinking for I don't know what was that anyways more thing I had in mind but uh, okay leave that actually oh sorry uh, invoice numbers inside the orders table we'll add one more uh, go to structure and one we'll add one more column after before the I mean after the date that will be or we can do it after the quantity it will be invoice underscore number and it will be integer and its length will be 10,000 100 sorry you can go again you can see invoice number that's it now we'll go to uh, our file manager again and we'll just change a little bit that one page inside the my shop folder we have a page paypal underscore success using code editor we will go to edit this file we'll just uh, to the order page orders table or here the query we have written we'll add two more things into the columns one will be uh, you know after the quantity we'll add invoice underscore number and after the date there is status and the values will be uh, after the quantity here we will just add the invoice number okay first of all we need to create a variable for this invoice number 
that variable will be something like uh, you know here it will be just invoice invoice and it will be equal to empty underscore rent okay that's a function which will create which will uh, generate a random number so that will be basically invoice number empty underscore rent it is a function in PHP which actually generates a random number so we will give that as a value so it will each time it will generate a random or you know unique invoice number we can give that after the quantity field here we have saved that in variable so it will be invoice that's it and after the date we'll add comma and then we'll just add in progress we are adding this to I mean to by default we are adding in progress to the status of the order so we can make that complete after we I mean we can make that complete from our admin panel directly now once again if the person orders something for example for example I uh, think our internet has problem anyways I will connect my internet connection okay my connect internet has been connected a good connection refresh the page and this is basically my shop actually we have done a you know a lot of jobs I mean we have ordered things many times now we'll do something like uh, one more order of this pro uh, product 450 go to cart and okay directly check out paypal now this is a good internet connection it will work a little fast we'll simply check out it with paypal here it is enter password login 450 is the price and item number is it is it and quantity is one okay pay now and the payment is done thanks for your order that is the payment and it will redirect the person to this page welcome your payment was successful go to your account he is going to his account he or she this is she okay now go to check out the orders table basically click the order table I will click actually basically uh, there is a problem because I have changed my internet connection so once again I have to log into this because the session was expired and I'm just after logging I'm just coming I'm back and we'll check this orders table now we'll click it and you can see the last order invoice number the above are zero zero because we did not give it there and the last is a unique invoice number and the order is in progress that's uh, something we could do now in next video we'll straight go and we'll just fetch these orders and we'll display or the customer I mean uh, inside the customer account the orders so that's it if we if I show you one beautiful and uh, interesting thing that we had a, an account sandbox account with business test at shop.com so if we check that account we will see how much money we have received while this while ordering these products this is just for fun
because we have orders a lot so we need to check that we have received money or not again and again so let's see this is that account in which we are receiving the money see this is six thousand five hundred fifty one dollars and there are many you know orders we have done but uh, mostly our payment has uh, you know our amount is now going to that another account I told you know for my friends account which was he created before that's it uh, next video we are coming back and we're displaying these orders inside this customer account stay tuned